we go. Boy Reviews! All right, welcome back to Born Reviews. Nick here, and I am bringing you another solo reaction. And this is a unique reaction. This could be one of those videos where I have just a few hundred views after a few weeks, and that's okay because I want to react to the stuff that interests me, and this definitely interests me. I've been on this American Australian football journey, learning small by small, little by little. Yes, now I know a mark is just a catch, it's just a catch. Not a fancy catch over the shoulders. It's just a catch. But in my defense, I've seen many a mark where they jump on the shoulders of someone else. And that top 20 marks, they were all jumping in the air. So, I mean, you can get my confusion. But, yes, I am learning. And I have a request here from a viewer called T. Cullen. Now, when I first saw it, I thought it was T. Curran, like Tom Curran. People on Cricket for Americans, our other YouTube channel, know about how much I love Tom Curran. But this is T. Cullen. Thanks for the request. And this is a short, it's got to be a, a short documentary. It's only six minutes long. But a short documentary about Tom Wills, the founder of Australian football. And if I'm going to get into Aussie rules, which I'm hoping this is what this is, could, could be a soccer video, then I should know about the history. I love learning about history. So I'm going to jump right into this. If you're new to Boring Reviews and you like the AFL, I have about five or six videos so far of reactions. I'm getting into it. I'm getting my feet wet. I got Gabe with me in most of them. And just like I did with Cricket, we got our feet wet for a while before we dove into the games. And that's kind of what I'm doing here. So if you're a fan, check out the other videos. If you like what you see, go ahead and like and subscribe. I'm going to keep them coming because I have been enjoying these quite a bit. But we're looking at this video. It was posted by someone named Hallow Edition um, years ago. Years ago this was posted. So we're going to go ahead and check this out. And get on L headphones. And here we go. Tom Wills. I like the music. Born Cricket Club. Ooh. Is that him? Ooh, look at that bat. Jeez, that's good some days. Definitely not. <laughs> okay, I'm not the only one. New South Wales with his parents. Uh, they took land in northwestern Victoria. His father's name was Horatio nice. Wills. In fact, his father named Mount Ararat. And in the days when he lived up there as a boy, there were a lot of Aboriginal tribes in the area and Tom spent a lot of time playing with the Aboriginal children and he spoke all the dialects of the, of the tribes so he was gifted and um, there is unconfirmed stories that they played a game with the stuffed possum skin which was a bit like keepings off now I've I've spoken to our museum people here and our library people here and I, that, that's sort of unconfirmed but it's a nice story in any case and so Tom played that and when he, he was about 12 or 13 his father decided that uh, home education had to be uh, bolstered so they sent him away to school mm. and you immediately think oh Melbourne or Sydney or, he put him on a ship and took him to England to the rugby school in England and he stayed there for the rest of his school life and became captain of rugby and captain of cricket and he was an outstanding cricketer and at the conclusion of his school days, it, it was um, suggested that he should stay and play. The love of the county he wanted him to play cricket because he was good. He wanted to come home. And he got home in time to find that his father had taken a very big uh, selection of land in Queensland uh, up around, uh, I can never think of the place now, Spring, Springshaw. 
and that uh, he, Tom, and his dad and 19 other people, his mother was remaining behind here, were heading to Queensland to set up a big sheep and cattle station. They went up to Rockhampton. And you've got to think of the times, this is mid-1800s. They picked 1,000 head of sheep, a plus cattle, and took them eight months to drove the stock out to the station site, because there were no roads or anything. And uh, I think that in itself was a bit of an epic. And uh, having got there, they built cattle yards and they were living under canvas. And Tom and a young shepherd went back down the track to pick up from a dump uh, supplies of tea and rice and wheat and that they were running short of. Uh, away for two days, they got back to the homestead site and every man, woman and child had been slaughtered by the Aboriginal Gosh. on the station, including his father. The only reason Tom and the Shepherd survived is they weren't there. Now he farmed on for another couple of years up there, came back to Melbourne, and became secretary of the Melbourne Cricket Club. His name's on the, the honour board out there. And uh, um, he was captain of Victoria, the cricket matches between Victoria and Tasmania in the mo oh, sorry, New South Wales and Tasmania in the mo And um, then he decided there had to be a game that cricketers could play in the winter to keep fit and made the declaration, we must have a game of our own. And was largely responsible for the establishment and the beginning of Australian rules football. And in fact, in our museum, the original handwritten rules of the game no way. Are, are down there and, uh, and, and recorded. And so he was the man who umpired that first game between the two schools. But the other remarkable thing about Wills is that in 1866, the first Aboriginal team, in fact, the first team that ever went from Australia to play cricket in England was an all Aboriginal team. And the coach of that team was Tom Wills. So he never ever harboured any bad feelings towards the Aboriginal people. And uh, sadly, over uh, the following years, he fell out of favour and became an alcoholic and ultimately committed suicide mm. when he was still only a young man. Amazing story. It, it's an amazing story. I mean, I've just scratched over it. And, and it is an amazing story. And uh, hopefully, one day, someone will make a documentary about it. Yeah. <laughs> a couple of books, been, yeah, there's two or three books been written about it. Yeah. Two or three books, that's it? Well, thanks for us. Okay. Thanks for that. Pleasure. There we go. Wow. Eighteen fifty-eight. You know, it, it's it's ridiculous because I've been told by many a people in the comment section for the AFL videos, and we don't we don't get a lot of views compared to other videos we have, but I don't care about that because. I've enjoyed the comments and the conversations with the, 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 the viewers. And I've seen the comment section many, many times, 1850s, 1850s. And I don't know why. Oh, is that Tom Wills? Such a moron. Of course not. That was really cool. It was very, very short. I mean, I wonder why this guy is just not well known. I mean, besides the hardcore fans, right? I mean, this is a sport that's been around for 162 years. 162 years. It's been around that long. It's as popular as it is right now. You got millions of fans, sellout crowds, all these different things. And he said himself, many people wouldn't know the name of Tom Wills. That's crazy. It's a great story. Only a few books. I mean, this guy had seen some things. This guy had been in some places. This guy had is a serious athlete. He decides to create a sport and look at what happens with it. People love it 162 years later. I would love to be able to create a game and have people just go gaga for it. Like right now, it's it's Among Us, right? That's the, that's the game that everyone likes to play right now. Is that going to be around for 162 years? Is that going to have its own league? I mean, maybe. Who am I to say no? I hate people that say no. So maybe. But chances are, you know, it's the fad right now and people are going to love it for years and then something else is going to come along. But enough of that. This this was incredible. So short. But I really, really enjoyed learning about this. 
And it's it's just crazy the, the things this guy did. And luckily they re, they write some of this stuff and they record this so that we can learn about these things later on. But it's interesting. Maybe it's because he fell out of favor for whatever reason. He became the alcoholic and killed himself that his story wasn't told too much. Um, we have a, a many a, a much different progressive society nowadays that can, for the most part, forgive someone for something like that. But not a long time ago, like no, that person's ostracized. Incredible, absolutely incredible. I'm just, you know, I'm not, I'm not one of those people that gets starstruck or that, you know, worship celebrities or anything like that. But you can't help but admire someone for an achievement they make. I don't care who you are. You're the guys that wrote the Macarena song for crying out loud. That's impressive to do something that brings so much joy and enjoyment to so many other people. That's super impressive. That's what I admire. That's what I look up to. And that's what it truly inspires me. I love hearing about how something that we love and that's great, how it got started and what happened. I mean, just from friends, let's make, a, let's make up a sport. Let's do something so that we can stay fit in the wintertime. This guy was a serious athlete. He was determined we're going to stay fit for the cricket season coming up. And he creates this sport. He creates this sport, which is wildly popular in Australia. Good for him. Thanks so much for the request, T. Colin. Thanks so much for checking this out. If you want me to do many more videos on the AFL, you know what to do. Just keep watching. Keep liking, subscribing. Let me know. Give me that support. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And until next time, adios.